Hello everybody, I just thought I'd um, show this video it's about a Citizen EcoDrive watch I bought for my wife for Christmas now the problem is she's got very thin wrists and um, or dainty rather and uh, inside I had a look to see how to um, shorten the strap now inside here you've got little pins now I didn't know there were pins, I thought there were screws because if you look on the other side, I don't know if you can see that they're actually look like little screws in there and I tried using a screwdriver this one very small will fit but they're not screws kept turning it nothing happened it turns out that it's a pin this little one here now on the tip there of the pin there is a head and that head has got a slot in the top you probably can't see it it's very very small now that slot is what I thought was a screw, it's not. Here's the pin. So I thought I'm going to measure this and see how big it is. So I put a vernier on it and it comes out at 0 0 0.037, 0 0.037 of an inch. Okay. So I had a look around and I found something which was almost the same but smaller, which is what you want. A bit difficult doing this, but there we go. 3.2. Oh, 3.2. Now that will fit. Now, fortunately for everybody, that's a paper clip. And um, the way I decided to do this is drill a hole in a piece of wood. Okay, get your watch strap, place your watch strap in position, remember the arrow, it shows you the way the pin comes out, the arrow is facing down, so you want to, uh, sorry it's up, made a mistake, <laughs> make sure you get that right, <clears throat> place the pin over the hole, I've made it like that so as I can actually hold it in place select the piece you want which is one piece hold the pin over the top and get a small hammer and just gently tap the pin through it comes out the other side and it's easily removed like that okay put the pin aside so you don't lose it then do exactly the same thing <coughs> on the next link same way push that one out remove the pin and it falls into the slot okay put that one aside and then you can remove the link get the watch back in position remember the facing arrow is pointing down Now this is the easy bit. Take your pin with the slotted head at the top. Okay? And you should just easily be able to put that in. There. Because the head is bigger than the rest of it. Now if I take that out a little bit, you're going to end up putting the link back in. Okay? So that goes in there. Push the pin through with your thumb and then put it back over the hole in the wood. <clears throat> it's a bit fiddly but it does work. Okay, and just gently tap that. It's nice and flush. <clears throat> Go back to your pin. If I can get that held in my hand right. And just gently tap that so it's just below the surface there you go we're back in action okay and there it is nicely in position with an extra link meek tail now if you have to take two out you might be better off taking one this side and one that side and then the back will match up with the front 
so when you've got it on your wrist it won't sort of uh, feel uncomfortable. Okay, and that's simply how to do it. And uh, put your pins back in your box with the part you've taken out and um, save them for another time if you need to put them back on for whatever reason but uh, that's how easy you do it. Now the way I do this is, is with one of these um, jewellers piece that uh, helps you magnify the idea of what you're doing so you might be better off using one of those if you feel you can but um, that's how to do it. Okay thanks for watching take care and bye bye.